with Glenn Tapia at the wildcard gym before he heads on that long flight over to Macau. I know you've been Don't to the Philippines. I know you know. <laughs> I have to remind you, it's my job. But you've been he training here at the wildcard for some time. Now this will be the third fight coming up under the tutelage of Marvin and Freddie. Uh, since that loss to Kirkland and everything that's happened since then, how much have you grown up to this point now? Right after that fight I've grown, you know, it was just it was so much. It was so much that mentally that, that first it's hard, you know, mentally just losing for the first time and and it's just, I just, from, from that day to this day, it's just so much, you know, I'm just more knowledgeable. And it's just, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm so much of a mature fighter now, you know, from, from that. It just, I, feel, I feel so good. In what ways have you matured? I know Freddie talked a lot uh, in talking to him previously about your patience. That was something that you and him really needed to work on, not being so anxious, not being just into entertaining, but really thinking your way through things. Um, is that one of the ways, and how, and how else have, do you feel like you've grown and matured? Um, yeah, he, from, from the jump, is um, he's been telling me to use my, my mind more than my heart. You know? um, use my head, use your brain, use your brain more than my heart. More than my balls, really, he says. But, you know, it's just that that's the beginning. And, it's just being more calm in there. I could box. I could really box, and I'm still strong. I'm thinking before I was younger, and I used to think that you got to brawl to, to entertain. When you could really box and entertain, and you could do the same thing and, and still be entertained and still get a knockout sometimes. So I'm real strong, so I could I could do it either way. Well, yeah, and you've already proved it, proven your heart or yeah. your balls, as you said. Yeah, so, there, yeah. so you got that out of the yeah, way. Now it's time to, to fight smart, and that, yeah. that will also help for the longevity of yes. your career because you want to be here for a while. I mean, you're in a tough division. Yeah. There's a lot of great competition at 154. Um, now, since working with Freddie, you've got this tough fight coming up against Daniel Dawson. Um, but you win this fight. Do you see yourself kind of right back in the running to, to fight against that A-level, that those Kirkland-type level fighters again? Yes, yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready now. You know, I'm, um, I'm just going to show them. I told the crowd, the store people that I am ready, you know. And I feel so good. I feel I feel real good you know, mentally, on my body wise, and I just feel I feel real good. I know I know I'm ready for that level. You know? Dawson put up a real tough fight against Trout. Yes. Uh, what do you see in him? Have you watched some film on him? Uh, what do you see him bringing to the table in Macau? I see like two rounds from him. Okay. Um, uh, I let Freddie just handle all that, but I, I'm not Trout. You know, I'm not sure. I feel like I'll tell you I'm gonna knock him out, you know, and because I see his um, style and what he does. And I'm just gonna bring that, you know. I'm, 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 I'm gonna show that I'm not sure and I'm on my different level. You're fighting on HBO 2 in this fight in Macau. A lot of people might not know how big of a stage that is. People think, oh, no one's watching over there. They have millions and millions of people, and I've been in that stadium five times now and see how much uh, the fans are really into it. So, are you excited about the opportunity to go to a new country, fight in front of a whole new audience, and in millions of homes and kind of show them what, what Glen Tapia is all about? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I want, I want. I want to get different um, fans, you know, from all over the world, you know, so so go over there, entertain them, and, and show them that I am a, a good, um, entertaining guy to watch, you know, and, and I want to get a bunch of fans from China, why not, you know, and just all over the world, you know, it's oh. just the beginning. All right, so for everybody tuning in right here on TopRank.com and worldwide, why should they check you out March 7th in Macau? Because it's going to be a knockout. <laughs> that I, I'm, I'm entertaining no matter what. If it goes this is if, if, if it doesn't, um, I'm entertaining. I fight, I fight for my fans. I really do. Literally, I fight for my fans. Um, I know everybody thinks about the money and everything. Now, I understand it's about the money, but I like to entertain. This is entertainment, and I, I want to bring it back to the pride and the, and the legacy. You know, when when, people, when the fighters thought about that, they thought about the pride, the legacy of the sport. Instead of just thinking about money, you know, and they just think about, let me fight this guy because there's more money. Nah, man, I want to fight for the fans. I want to give the people what they want, and I want to entertain, you know, and that's what I'm going to do. All right, the fan-friendly Glenn Tapia looking to put on a show March 7th in Macau, China.